Our next speaker is Tony Gallman. Tony's speech title is An Introvert and a Ham Sandwich. An Introvert and a Ham Sandwich. Tony Gallman. The great storyteller and public radio host Garrison Keillor once said that the difference between Midwestern introverts and extroverts is that introverts go to parties and stare at their own shoes, where extroverts go to parties and stare at other people's shoes. <laughs> Mr. Contest Master, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests, I have always been an introvert, one of those guys who goes to parties and stares at their own shoes. And one of the symptoms of my introvertness is that I develop these crushes on girls and then I proceed to do absolutely nothing about it. <laughs> this was definitely the case when I got my first job out of college at a federal statistical agency in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. My crush was Carla, a girl with long brown curly hair and an infectious smile. She also had this combination of Iowa farm girl and math geek that I didn't seem to get a lot of in my college st st statistical courses. But I knew it wasn't a good idea to try and date your coworkers. Something about not getting your honey where you get your money. <laughs> For what happens if you break up and everything gets all awkward? What are you gonna do then? But that didn't keep me from doting over Carla from afar. One day, I was walking out of the work break room when I was trying to walk out and Carla was trying to walk in. And we've all been in those situations where you both go to the right and you both go to the left and you just can't seem to get past each other. Well, I'm a lot bigger than Carla. Well, let's face it, I'm a lot bigger than everyone. <laughs> so I decided to make a joke that I was just gonna run her over. And that's when I said, one of these days, I'm gonna take you out. She replied, in your dreams. <laughs> and that's when I realized that she did not take this as a mildly amusing threat of violence, but as a pickup line. And the only thing worse than a joke not landing is being turned down for a date that you didn't actually ask someone. <laughs> I did, and that is when I decided that I was not going to pursue Carla anymore. But we were able to remain friends as co-workers. And when she asked me to go on a trip to a local county fair with her family and to a German festival that was taking place in Sioux Falls that night, I immediately thought it was a bad idea. But when it comes down to it, I never say no to Midwestern carnival food. And I am the proud owner of a German hat. And there is only so many places where you can pull off a German hat. We ended up having a good time at the fair, and we even bonded on the way home over the episode of Friends where Joey Tribbiani gets the words moo and moot mixed up. As in, it's a cow's opinion. It doesn't matter. It's moo. <laughs> my mind started racing. Was my strategy of just letting a relationship develop on its own actually working? And I started developing my plan of how I was going to win Carla over with my mad polka skills. But when we got to the German festival, everything started to go south. When I tried to strike up a conversation with Carla, she kept on pushing me towards her friend Mindy. And when <laughs> Roll Out the Barrel came out and I was going to polka with Carla, I ended up polkaing with Mindy instead. <laughs> it didn't take me very long to figure out that Carla was attempting to set me up with one of her friends. I just wasn't feeling it with my second choice dance partner that evening, so I decided I was gonna take my German hat and go home, because the whole night was moved. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a whole lot when I was invited to a co-worker's wedding a few months later. This was Travis's second wedding of three, and the whole event was taking place in a conference room in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And we weren't even getting a whole meal out of the deal, just <laughs> some appetizers and some dinner roll ham sandwiches. Pretty soon the small talk between the co-workers died down and I decided that I was going to make some entertainment of my own. Each of the tables in the reception hall had one of these disposable cameras 
Now I think there's not too many young people in the room that know that disposable cameras are what we use before our cell phones could immediately load pictures to social media. But I took the disposable camera off the table, took one of the dinner roll ham sandwiches, and took a picture. I started taking pictures of ham sandwiches with all of, with all of my coworkers. Now I'm telling you, you have not lived until you walk up to your boss, give him a ham sandwich, say it's your turn, take a picture, and walk away. <laughs> I ended up taking a picture of the ham sandwich on the dance floor, took a picture of the ham sandwich in a plant, I took a picture of the ham sandwich with the shirtless ring bearer on the dance floor. But probably the highlight of the evening was taking a picture of the ham sandwich with one of the groomsmen on the changing table in the men's bathroom. <laughs> I was so enamored with my ham sandwich entertainment that I did not realize that Carla was dropping hints on me. She kept on talking about how we should go out to the dance floor. Eventually, I got the hint and I waited for the DJ to start playing the appropriate slow moving power ballad and I asked Carla to dance. I never would have thought that evening that I would be dancing with the girl of my dreams. Now I'm under no illusion that this ham sandwich got me a dance with Carla that night. But I'm also under no illusion that my plan of staring at my own shoes at parties and waiting for a relationship to develop on its own was a good idea either. But I do know that if it wouldn't have been for that night, I wouldn't have asked Carla on a date a couple weeks later. If it wouldn't have been for that night, I wouldn't have asked Carla to marry me a couple years after that. And if it wouldn't have been for that night, I wouldn't be standing here telling stories about walking down the hallway, going to county fairs, or going to my friend's weddings with my wife of four years. That night was definitely not moo. <laughs> not bad for an introvert and a ham sandwich. <laughs> Mr. Tyson.